Hi, welcome back everybody. This is Annie LA and in this channel we will be discussing more about online and remote learning like the platforms we use including websites and all the tools and resources that we use whenever we conduct our online or remote remote learning. So I've conducted a series by, uh, using the video conferencing app called Zoom. So if you have been following that series, I've gone through how to create in your IDs. Next would be how to um, do the basic settings and moving on to advanced settings and now how to really host a meeting. So now in this video, I'm going to bring you to how to use the share screen, most especially if you're, you have like a conference or in the class, how do you present your uh, presentation to your um, learners or students or if it's just for plain video conferencing and you need to do a presentation so in this video I'm gonna go and talk about this so what's your take after this um, video after you watch Huli well you can use the share screen and you can use the breakout rooms so I need you to stay put until we go through step by step um, guide on how to use these two features on Zoom. Now, before we go through that, I just want you to do one thing for me, and that is to subscribe to this channel, because when you do that, you'll get updated on the latest videos that I'm going to be putting up. And if you want to follow the series, all my playlists um, will be there, and you can follow through with the video. So there's a progression on the topics that I'm being um, that I am covering in this video. So if you're ready, just switch off any distractions, switch off your phone or anything so that you will be very fully focused as I'm going to go through this video to you. And by the way, this is very easy. You don't have to, as long as you have Zoom, um, you, as long as you uh, have downloaded the app, it's very easy and very straightforward. Now, um, um, just a background, the device that I'm using when I'm um, doing this uh, uh, video is that I'm using my personal computer so you can also use this using your phone and your device like for example tablets or your iPad but for now for this particular video I'm using my personal computer okay so now we are already here in our interface so um, at first you know the first thing as a host so I'm hosting this meeting I'm the one doing the presentation I have to put in my schedule first so I'm not going to use my um, the previous schedule that I made so I'm going to use a new one so I'm going to set out a time so I'm going to put in um, 10 p.m. Uh, and then I'm going to max it out to 45 minutes the same thing that how we did or set up our zoom meeting going to put to my local time. I'm gonna not going to tick recurring meeting because this is just a one once off. Again, this is just for me to show you how to do that. Now I'm going to use gener generally uh, generate an automatically um, meeting ID. I'm not going to use my personal ID just for the sake of I don't want to use it. So I'm going to make sure that I'm going to use a random number. So I'm just going to key in my own password, which is one, two, three, four, five, six. You can choose that. And then the host will be on with my video. I also, um, um, for this, I'm just going to switch off my participants because actually I'm just using the other devices to show you this. I don't have a real person to actually be there. Okay, so that I, I need to show you the video. So go to advanced setting. Again, for security, enable waiting room. Um, nope, I don't want to do that. Mute participants of ent entry, yes. So schedule. So once that's scheduled, you just have to wait a few seconds. Okay, like I said, this is the detail that you need to give the person you want to join your meeting. Okay, so this is my details. And now I am ready. Okay, so that's scheduled. Okay, I'm gonna go there. So I'm just gonna quickly start. So this is the time, right? So I'm gonna start. And then we are going to uh, get our participants join in the room. Okay, so I'm going to switch on my uh, video. Okay, and my mic as well. Okay, you can adjust yourself how you look like, you can adjust how your um, screen. Okay, okay I can, as long as my face is there, like I said, you know, eye level, look at the camera so you can make that eye contact to your participants. Okay, I'm gonna bring my people in. So I've got like random people here. So I've got four participants, or three, I should say. All right, let's join in. 
I'm gonna key in my password. Okay, remember the sound that I told you about the chime? Okay, that um, indicates that participants are coming in. Okay, there you go. Do you see that? Two people have entered the waiting room for the meeting. So this is where you can screen through. So I know Andy, I know Tina, and also I know Jesse. Okay, there you go. So I know these three, so I'm gonna bring them in. Okay, there you go. You hear Okay, so I just settled the audio, so now it's good, right? So I've got my participants, I've got Jesse, okay, Andy, and Tina. Okay, so this is how it would look like when I conduct um, my Zoom sessions. Okay, so now you can switch on later on, you can ask them to switch on their um, uh, video or camera, and you can also unmute them when they want to talk, okay? So now, what I would be focusing on, like I've said, is the share screen and then the breakout room. So this is the feature that I was like talking to you about, the share screen. So share screen means that you would like to um, share the screen that you have. Okay, so for this one, I'm going to share my presentation slide so that they can see what I see. Okay, um, so what I would usually do is that I would make sure that I am on spotlight so that my face or my screen and the this presentation screen is actually like side by side there's another feature where you can set up your um, um interface wherein you can actually mirror the this one you know like mirror the view one is the presentation slide and one is your face as a speaker so you just have to i mean um you can just move your um slide to the next page just like so and then it will move okay just like your learning objective you're gonna learn about a whiteboard feature of zoom or breakout rooms and then of course your success criteria i can take after that so once you're done you can actually exit that and then you can just say stop sh share and then there you go it would return back to your um zoom interface now you got to be careful when you're sharing your screen okay because there are times that you know um it might share some of your sensitive things in your computer so sometimes this is what i would do so that i would um, be able to screen through what i'm sharing so instead of clicking on screen i would go to advanced and then i'm just gonna pick up a portion of the screen so for example okay i'm gonna highlight that it's gonna turn to blue and then i'm gonna put in share so this squarish thing will just um, what do you call that confine the the screen that i want my participants to have a view of like i said you know let's say you um, there are things that are private so you can actually just um, this, uh, what do you call that, um, confine which one, you know, you can um, modify it according to um, which. Okay, so there you go. So in the screen of my participant, it's just showing this particular slide. All right, so once you're done with that, you can just, again, um, stop sharing. And there's one special thing I would like you to look into if you go back to basic, and that is whiteboard, okay? So I'm gonna share my screen again, and you can still see this, okay? So this is just like a whiteboard, whiteboard in a classroom. So in the participants interface, it's just like a plain white background wherein you can actually type a text. So let me show you how. So welcome, I'm gonna write in, type in for you, welcome to any L LA's channel or you can actually even draw if you want to well you can even choose which color you can just format and there you go you can type in hi okay if you use actually a pen um, that would be much easier for you to use then you can draw you can use this um, selections you can stamp whether you want arrow or a heart shape and you can just stamp like that spotlight okay i do like this most most especially if you want to um, highlight particular words or maybe statements or sentences just like your pointer when you do um, the physical presentation where you just point at your slide so it's like the same feature just like that and if you don't like it you can just erase the things and it will just come off there you go then like i said format can choose the color and even the the fonts and even the text size and even the the lines okay if you want okay i have to put the back okay you can use this if it's like a wide type okay wide you can use 
a thin so you can just choose the selections then you can undo that or even redo clear okay clear all drawings it will just go off and you can even save this particular um, whiteboard if there let's say there are important informations that you um, have written there or typed there that you want to keep it then you can also do that so whiteboard that's one of the features of zoom that i also like most especially when i do presentations or teaching online it's good good okay then you stop okay then going back again to my interface okay so now going now to your breakout rooms okay how do you conduct breakout rooms remember i told you i mentioned to you that in breakout rooms it's just like grouping um participants together if you would like to have let's say group activities or if you're conducting a workshop this is very good um you just group them together and then after that you can um, bring them back into um your your uh your room okay so what you need to do is that just assign so you can um, choose let's say how many rooms you want so I've got like um, okay one left so I've got two now two and the antenna so I'll just put them into two rooms individually um, you can manually choose that you choose it yourself or it's automatically generated so for this particular um, example there since there's just two of them I will just do automatically or maybe I sh I'll show you how to do it manually so create room okay so I'll assign I'll choose the name okay Andy and then I'll choose the name Tina and then now I'm gonna open all the rooms and then I'm gonna bring them there okay so the in their interface in their part in the participants part there's like two choices one is late the question is the host is inviting you to join breakout room breakout room two so you got to choose later or join so you just ask your participants to click on join and they will be in the room what i like about this is that you know you can actually see what they're doing you can even like join and you know pop in you know like um, just like physically going into to those rooms so if i want to go and check on andy okay so i'm gonna go and check on andy how she's doing so yes there you go so that's what's happening in um in andy's part okay so let's just wait there you go then i'm with andy okay so if i want to go to um if i want to go and see my other um student let's say or my other group then i can just leave room and then leave breakout room and then i'm going to go to the main session okay after that okay you can also bring them back in again to the main session so it's just taking a few minutes to um, for it or for you to go to the main session and there you go i'm back in the main session now i can call them back okay i can ask them to come back again so you, what you just need to do is that um oh and this one is very good i like this a lot do that there's one thing before i forget that i need to um, show you this is broadcast a message to all so for example if you want to remind them you have five minutes left okay let's say just to wrap up their discussion that message will go to let's say breakout room one and go to breakout room two so andy and tina will be able to read that message as a reminder and then maybe you can say after five minutes that you say um, please join the main session or it's time to jo join the main session then you just close the room and then automatically they will be in your room okay but they have like just they just have to like press a uh, choice i mean like a, what do you call it, a prompt saying that it's time to return okay so andy okay there you go so now the room is empty and they're back in so welcome back andy and tina okay so that's a very good feature of um zoom that i like um so far with the other platform like um comparing it with skype skype doesn't have this feature but for zoom they do have so that's a plus point for me having a whiteboard having the um uh what do you call that the breakout room and also screen sharing that's a plus point for me so um if you um, have learned something from this so like i said after the video of this video you can actually do your own breakout room and you can actually um use a share screen so these are the two takes that i want you to be able to learn after 
I have completed this video. So again, if you have learned something, please subscribe to this channel. And thank you so much for, um, um, you know, watching this until now. Thank you and bye.